Hi everyone, it's Heather from True North Spirit Medicine here today. How are you going? Welcome to the September 2023 energy reading. Hooray, I got it right. Um, August has been a bit of a, a ride, <laughs> shall we say. Lots of um, shadow energy coming up, for want of a better word. So things that you don't want to look at um, is, is a, a really brief summary of the shadow. Um, so you might have noticed people around you freaking out. You might have noticed yourself freaking out or getting moody or grumpy or angry or sleeplessness, um, all of those kind of things. Um, don't panic. Don't worry. You're not alone. Um, it's kind of normal to some degree. Humans are very good at wanting to keep things the same. Um, in our sort of old lizard brain, sameness means safety and security. So part of our psyche is quite invested in, in keeping things the same because the unknown um, it tends to be like a frightening thing. Um, so that's kind of one of the interesting things that you, <laughs> us, we, um, as, you know, light workers, way showers, woken up people, <laughs> whatever, you know, non-muggle, <laughs> whatever term you want to give to us um, it's one of the things that we've all kind of had to to walk through you know is this getting used to change and getting used to um, things not being as they seem so to speak and I feel like that's quite important I feel like they've kind of gone ding 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 things not being as they seem don't be fooled by outward appearances is what they're saying and I'm, I'm being shown like a, a book cover and that's saying don't judge a book by its cover so they're, they're showing me like a rocky um a rocky ocean no <laughs> a rough ocean like a you know lots of of waves and stuff it's like when you're in the middle of chaos it's it's easy to start to believe that chaos is the only state of being um but they're reminding us that there will be there will be peace coming, more peaceful times coming. And it's like, you know, when you clean out your Tupperware cupboard or whatever, you make a big mess, you pull everything out, you spend some time matching up lids and discarding what's cracked or broken. And, and then you, you sort of organize everything and go, right, all the lids match the containers and then you stack it up and you put it back and you pass on or you discard or you recycle that which is no longer needed. And so it, it's an invitation here to not judge the chaos, not judge the mess, not judge the, the process of deconstruction while the construction is still happening. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Answer my own question. It's interesting. I didn't expect to be um, saying all of that stuff just now. But I never know what we're going to talk about. It's really interesting. Like yesterday, this afternoon, I had a bit of time and I was like, oh, I, I knew I was going to film the video today. And I thought, oh, I could get started on, you know, the process of, of publishing this video, which is writing the description or finding the thumbnail and making sure it's the right size and, you know, doing all the preparatory work. And then I realized that I can't do any of it. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about so all of that stuff um, happens afterwards um, yeah it's quite funny it's like doing it's like writing a lesson plan backwards you know if you're a teacher you know you know what we mean um, yeah anyway what was the point of that I don't know <laughs> I'm waffling um well not yes I'm waffling a bit now um, I'm kind of excited I don't know what they're going to say um, yeah so today I'm going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed <gasps> I forget who the artwork was by. Jenna Della Grattalia, I think. If I've got that wrong, I'll put a little note on the video. Um, but yeah, I've used this one with you before. I really like it. Um, it's got beautiful artwork. And it's red. I really wanted the reds were really attractive to me today. So that red vibration for whatever reason, base chakra, all about the earth, all about um, safety and security actually, all about um, making things manifest in the world as well. So the base chakra is the first one, the, the sort of lowest one 
um, yeah, and it's about material things. So making ideas manifest in the world, that kind of stuff. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle. I shuffled the deck and sort of did a little meditation beforehand and stuff. And I was really tempted to draw cards off camera, but I sort of made myself wait. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but anyway, here we go. So just asking for the best cards for the highest good of all. As I glance at the clock and it says, the timer, I mean, and it says 5.55. That's quite cute. Um, five being the number of change. Oh, sorry if that's loud. Okay. Oh, cute. Okay, so I've got three cards. I do have another deck on standby, so to speak. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I think I may just use this one. Um, they're pretty cute cards. Right, I'm just looking at the order of them. I realised I forgot to turn the light on. I wonder if it's going to make a difference. That's better. The light's on. Ta-da! It, it just got cloudy. Um, and doing a colour um, edit on, on the editing software is kind of annoying. So <laughs> um, if the first bit's a bit of a different colour, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the channel. I'm waffling. Um, and let's see what we get. Greetings, dear ones, and thank you for joining us here again today. We come in swiftly today, partly to show you how easy it is and how close we actually are to all of you, but partly also to um, assist in Heather's transition into a deeper channel. For this morning, she is indeed distracted. And that is okay. It is funny how we humans dance around that which we are excited about when really we want to jump straight in like a child and rip open the present or the gift that has been wrapped so beautifully. But as an adult we are often taught to wait, to pause, to be polite to observe social niceties that we've learned along the way. When really all we want to do is to dive right in, like jumping into a cool lake on a hot day, or a hot spring on a cold day even. But you know what we mean. Today we bring you many great glad tidings. We are showing Heather the array of sparkly golden stars on the cards that she is about to read for you and that you will see soon enough. And today it, it is like we are giving you gold stars, like those stickers the teacher used to put on your work when you were a child. Or if you did not have that luxury, then you can imagine the feeling of joy, seeing a happy golden star at the top of your page, acknowledging the hard work you have done, acknowledging the joy of creation, acknowledging the time that things have taken to get you that far. I am sure you understand our metaphor here, my friends, for we are indeed giving you gold stars for all of your hard work, all of your effort, all of the time and energy and focus and the things you had to discard along the way. All of those things we see and we are immensely grateful for. And so we do give you so many golden stars. You might like to imagine them falling from the sky and surrounding you now. It may even place a smile on your face as you feel the joy emanating from us and surrounding you. It is joyful. 
it is something to be celebrated. For indeed you are the light workers, the light houses, the way showers, the star seeds, the brothers and sisters of the Lemurian ancestry, the ones who have chosen this somewhat difficult life to be separate from those around you in many ways, yet still desirous to be connected, still necessary to be connected. As the timelines shift and you choose and choose and choose on a daily basis if you wish to go higher and higher into more love and more gratitude, more compassion for others and for self, then it will feel like some of you are traveling up a mountain while others of you choose to stay at the base camp, shall we say, at the bottom. There is no judgment in this, my friends. For all of you are the prodigal sons and daughters and all of you will return home at the end of your individual lives, no matter what. But some of you, some of us, have chosen pre-birth to ascend without passing away through these strange and difficult times, these unique and beautiful times on your planet as the shift takes place around you. It is like the tower card in the tarot where things crumble around you, old systems of government, old systems of finance, old systems of food, old systems of everything crumble. It is indeed like the mess in the Tupperware cupboard. But fear not, my friends, we hold your hand the whole way. We give you stars along the way to remind you and to light your path. We show Heather a beautiful golden pathway lit with fairy lights and lanterns and gold stars on sticks, all glowing to light your way. You are not alone. You are never alone. It is impossible to be alone, my friends. You are surrounded by a legion of thousands. Each of you has angels, each of you has guides, each of you has your own spiritual team and your own version of the Council of Elders as you join us at Heather's Council of Elders at this vast and grand table. Your place is here too. And we celebrate you and we raise our glasses to you in thanks and honour and gratitude for all of you as you bring your individual pieces and parts to this puzzle of life. For indeed it would not be the same without you. It would most definitely not be the same without you. We are so very glad that you are here. We hope you can feel the love that is pouring from our hearts to yours. Take a moment, close your eyes if you wish, put your hand on your own heart and allow us to breathe energy and love and grace and peace into your heart. It is the greatest gift that we can give you. And we give it gladly and easily and joyfully. It flows like water from our hearts to yours. Congratulations, my friends. You have indeed leveled up. You might have noticed that the ear ringing has stopped and the sleepless nights have eased. That is because you are on the new frequency. Well done, my friends, well done. It is a time of celebration and you deserve it. Take some time to absorb this view from the new mountaintop, shall we say. Take the afternoon off, take some time for yourself, eat some cake, lie on the grass and watch the clouds, read a good book, have a bath, go for a swim, go for a walk, laugh with loved ones, dance in your lounge room. Whatever it is that brings you joy, that signifies a celebration for you. Please make some time 
especially in these powerful moon cycles. Please make some time to celebrate and make, make sure that you include yourself in the celebrations, that it is you that you are celebrating, for it is you that we are celebrating. As the veil becomes thinner and thinner, as your instincts become louder and louder, we do know that you feel these messages much more strongly than you did in the past, even from last month to this. And is this, it is this also that we celebrate. Our connection to you is stronger and closer and louder in a good way, more tactile as you feel us hug you and place our hands gently on your shoulders. Celebrate that, my friends. Celebrate that. The opening of the doors to love and peace and gratitude. It is what we are all here for, after all. And you have made it. We love you dearly for this. We celebrate you every day. And we thank you again for sitting with us at this grand, grand table of ours. We will speak to you again very soon. And so it is. <laughs> I, was faff I was faffing around at the beginning too. But I felt joyous and excited at the same time. Felt paradoxical. But I like their metaphor or whatever it is about the child <laughs> jumping straight in and opening the present <laughs> and the adults waiting <laughs> okay let's get to the cards i may have to pause and plug this camera in because the battery looks like it's it's only got one bar left anyway we'll see how we go i did charge it up the cards we've got three um and Indeed, two of them do have um, big golden stars on them. <laughs> so the first one is Serendipity, and it's got um, a giant four-leaf clover and like a fairy, looks like a fairy lady, um, or maybe it's just a lady. I'm not sure if she's jumping up or she's got it on a little string. Anyway, there's a person reaching for the four-leaf clover. clover. Um sort of reaching I don't know it's a bit confusing anyway serendipity and then we've got the fates and happy happy <laughs> um yeah full of gold stars it's quite cute okay serendipity okay they're saying straight away like it's like alignment 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 that's quite hard to say fast <laughs> um it's like there's there's no need for effort here. There's no need to force here. There's no need to to push or, or strive or like I said, this kind of looks like this lady's reaching f for the clover on the card, but that's not the right energy of, of what they're talking about. What they're talking about here is like there's an ease here. They're showing me the, the, the spot where the, I don't know if I can do it, Hold it up slowly enough so the camera focuses. They're showing me that point in the middle where the um, the the leaves, the individual leaves of the clover meet in the middle, and and how effortless effortlessly those leaves meet. Puh, that was like a tongue twister. How effortlessly those leaves meet in the middle. Like there's no force there. It's like a you know like a seed a seed sprouting under the earth and and the you know we've all seen sort of time-lapse photography of a um you know a new sprout sort of breaking through the earth and and rising up from the ground and it looks effortless you know there's not a a battering ram coming through the the ground it's this what looks like a really soft gentle leaf sort of pushing its way gently up so they talked something last month about following your heart, following what lights you up, and that's the pathway forward. And it's a they're sort of reminding us of that here, like 
serendipity, fortuitous meetings or or your happy accidents or whatever you want to call them. They don't require planning. They don't require effort. They don't require stress. They don't require any of those things. What they require is you just turning up and going about your life in as happy and as positive and um, love-filled, a heart-filled way as possible. And then the the confluences happen. Yeah, that makes sense, right? I feel like there's more to say there, but I feel like I'm just repeating myself. So <laughs> I'm going to move on. <laughs> okay. Um, the fates and happy, happy. I'm, I'm still not sure whether I'm swapping these around or not. Okay, we'll just go with the order that they're in. Um, so the second card is the fates and it's got a lovely... Um, fairy lady she's got wings um so they all have these there's no it's not a fairy deck it's the wisdom of the oracle deck um and she's hugging herself and she looks really um happy and content um and she's covered in golden stars it's quite beautiful the fates we have a hand in your synchronicity my friends of course we do Along that guilt-lit pathway that you stroll and sometimes stumble down, sometimes dance down, this pathway of your life that we guide you down with your heart sparkling in your chest. We hold your hand the whole way down this beautiful golden-lit path, my friends. We, your team, your spiritual team, your council of elders your boardroom of invisible helpers if you like (laughs) we hold your hand the whole way my friends you are not alone as we said before you are never alone it is like if you imagine a beautiful golden lit pathway with all of these fairy lights and all of these sparkles and all of these stars and you walking down the center of it in the joyous center of your life Beside the pathway is us, this beautiful crowd, this beautiful entourage, this beautiful system of helpers. And we hold our hands out along the way for you to take if you if you wish. It is almost like one of your bicycle races where there are stations of helpers along the way and they hold out food or water or they cheer and they clap and they hold up signs and they lift you with their voices and they lift you with their support and they lift you with their hope along the way then that is us my friends that is us for you we are your cheer squad we are your invisible helpers we are the ones passing you the water bottles the connection to source energy the food the sustenance the support the love the hope the joy the compassion and the guidance we are there for you always And we will be there for you at the end, at the finish line, when there are trumpets heralding your arrival. And we will applaud and we will sing and we will dance with your name. You are never alone, my friends. We are always with you. Even when it is dark in the middle of the night and you have woken and you are worried, we are with you. Even in the midst of celebrations when you have popped the champagne corks and you are laughing and screaming and celebrating with your friends, we are with you. When you are walking alone in the forest with that deep, deep silence of nature, we are with you. When you swim in the ocean, floating on your back with the sun on your face, peaceful, surrendered, supported, We are with you. When you are writing your book or singing your song or painting your painting or cooking your dinner, we are with you. We are the fates. We are not to be feared. We are like the 
the wheel of life, we help turn it in your favour. We are your compatriots, your companions, your cherished cheer squad if you let us. And as the veil thins, we invite you to open your ears even more to us. Ask for our assistance in your dreams, remember my friends. If you have specific queries, you can ask questions before you sleep. And that night or the next or the next or the next, you will dream the answers, the solutions, the next steps you are wishing for. Just ask us. It is like again when you are on the bicycle in the race and there are people holding out water for you along the way. Sometimes you are thirsty and sometimes you are not. But if you are thirsty, you ask to receive. That may be a gesture, that may be a hand held out to receive the water bottle like a baton in a running race. And in the same way, you must ask us to take your hand. And we will do so gratefully and willingly and joyfully. We are with you every step of the way. And we will remind you of that. We will remind you of this. Some of you may even see your own little golden stars in the coming days or the coming weeks. Maybe you see it on an advertisement. Maybe you see it on the ground as you walk. Maybe you see it as a sticker on a child's homework but you will see it my friends okay hi i'm back um the battery did go flat um lucky it made a sound when it died because i had my eyes closed <laughs> otherwise i would have been um, like waffling on for ages and not actually noticed that it had stopped recording so that's lucky um anyway so now we're all plugged in with an extension cord and and all sorts of things so i can keep going um and I wasn't even sure, this is a, a relatively new camera to me, so I wasn't even sure if I could record while it, yeah, yeah, it's recording. Um, I wasn't sure if I could record while it was plugged in. I assumed that I could, but I wasn't actually so, sure. So that's lucky. Um, yeah, the fates. Oh yeah, I think they'd, fin they'd finished what they were saying about supporting us um, along the way, which was nice. That felt really nice, actually, that, that last piece of channeling piece of channeling um yeah okay so the last card well second last because i actually drew one of the herbal astrology cards while i was um plugging the camera in but the last of the wisdom of the oracle cards and it's the the second one with all of the golden stars in it um and it says happy happy and it's got this lovely lady sitting cross-legged um looks like on the top of an like an egg shaped thing um, and she's really happy and she's got a big gold star in her hand and like a rainbow kind of light coming from the sky um, and she's got gold stars around her they're reminding me of the rainbow light um, sort of meditation that they led us through last month um, and which I created a short video for during the month um, and they're inviting you to have a listen to that if you haven't already um, it's up on the YouTube channel yeah happy happy this is really sweet and and they're just um, reiterating the the previous message about the celebration and the celebration of you um, and the support the support that's there from the, the message they just gave us and the celebration of you from the, the opening channel. Um, and they're sort of patting us on the back, going, you, you, you're, you're all deserving of this praise. You have earned it, um, my friends. You have earned it, is what they're saying. It's really lovely. Um, I don't actually feel like there's much more to add, <laughs> which is kind of nice, like just happiness. It's really lovely really lovely like all of the work that that you and i have have sort of collectively been doing particularly in these last months particularly in these last months where it's like 
you might have been called on to, to sort of hold your course is what they're saying and they're showing me like the the metaphor analogy or whatever it is of, of a ship you know when you there's not that I'm a sailor <laughs> but you know um, we've all seen the movies where people sail <laughs> you know and there's like you know a storm coming or, or whatever and and you see the the crew on the ship and they've got to like tack this way or steer that way or I'm saying sailing words like I know what I'm talking about <laughs> but you know what I mean like there's adjustments that need to be made and so you can stay on course steer the course and 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 that's what they're saying is is you know pat yourselves on the back and congratulate yourselves for staying on course because there have been you know discordant winds is what they're saying coming at us from various sides you know whether it's personal or political or social or, or you know whatever um, and all of us individually and and therefore collectively have managed to stay on track this track of love and compassion and kindness for for ourselves and for others and that is what turns up the volume that's what l lifts the light on the dimmer switch bad grammar but you know what i mean um, all of us individually in our own ways stepping up stepping up stepping up raises the consciousness for everybody you know raises the bar for everybody and that allows new inventions and new technologies and new ways of seeing and new ways of being and all of this new beautiful heart-filled compassionate joyful justice for all kind of avenues and platforms and inventions and and everything's <laughs> to, to come in and to flow in a lot more easily it's like sweeping the path clearing the path for others to just walk on through you know um yeah front runners front runners forerunners that's what we are but you know that you we know that already but yeah lots of accolades lots of congratulations okay so the last card the sneaky last one that i drew while the camera was um being flat <laughs> um is from the herbal astrology oracle by adriana ayales artwork by josephine clerks or josephine clarks i'm not quite sure how to say her name sorry josephine <laughs> um and it's interesting like this morning um i knew it was this well i, I couldn't i thought yeah anyway i knew it was the red deck um, that I was going to be working with um, and then when I was getting the stuff out of the cupboard and then I had to go back to get the the wall hanging um, wall hanging I, you know the throw thing that I put behind us us he <laughs> it is us um, I opened the cupboard where the oracle decks are and I thought I'm only going to use a second deck this month if one catches my eye you know like I'm not gonna just use it because you know um, anyway this one kind of jumped out at me I was like really I was like they were like yeah yeah I was like okay so I kind of just shuffled it and drew one or just sort of looked at it and went oh yeah that's pretty um, and then when the battery was flat just now and I was plugging it in and, and you know realigning the camera and setting it all up again um, I shuffled them before I turned the camera back on I shuffled them and and you know split the deck and it was the same card and there's 55 cards in the deck you know um so i thought okay we need to use this one <laughs> it's exactly the same card so it's comfrey comfrey um and the word underneath it says completion and i feel like it's really relevant of course it's relevant it came up twice you know um and the card's quite lovely it's got i think it's the sagittarius anyway it's got the goat no capricorn's the goat isn't it looks like the capricorn sort of symbol it's got the goat with the the fish's tail and it's got a beautiful kind of archway that's important as well like a archway that's sort of made out of a wreath a wreath um of of comf what look like comfrey leaves and it's got the comfrey plant in the middle in flower and it's got a beautiful um crystal all sort of sitting on top of what looks like clouds is the artwork on these is just beautiful i'll drop the card into the video um, for some reason I still hold it up to the camera as though you know I'm not dropping them into the video <laughs> but you know force of habit or whatever anyway um, so I'll also take photos of them and 
drop them put uh, no drop them post them that's the word post them up on facebook and instagram a few days after the video has gone out so if you want to have a closer look um, at the cards you can do so there okay completion so again i feel like it's connected to the messages that have come before of course it is and I feel like it's intimately connected to the sense of sort of leveling up, you know, that we've completed collectively, completed the previous level, so to speak. Um, and all of these gold star celebrations is for the new level. So this is like a celebration of, of um, I want to say passing the marker, which is a grand term that Cryon... Um, often uses when uh, when he's talking about the harmonic convergence from 1987 where it was a really big measurement of um, the consciousness of humanity and we passed you know that's why we didn't blow each other up and we didn't you know the cold war you know ended and fingers were taken off buttons and you know all that kind of stuff um, happened because there was a measurement of consciousness um, by the ascended you know humanity um, and, and we individually raised our consciousness high enough that we avoided terminating the planet, basically. Um, and that's why we're the first generation to live through the shift without passing away and having to come back again. So that's why these are special times, right? That's what this whole thing's all about, really, um, is us ascending without having to die first, you know. Um, and so there's lots of individual steps within that along the way and and that of course affects the collective right so what the invitation here is it's like when you're climbing a mountain and you know you're almost at the top right and the the top of the mountain is all these kind of gold stars yeah you made it da 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 da, da. but there's here's this sense of completion as well so it's like this goal that you've been striving for it's like when you say you're getting almost to the top of the mountain and there's that last kind of <laughs> take a breath kind of rest point before you you know push on for the last bit towards the summit or whatever and you might be having a rest and and you kind of look around and you go wow look at the view here it's amazing look how far I've come so you might look down the track where you've you've come from and you know things you've left behind or or, or whatever whatever <laughs> gangster mountaineering <laughs> but you know what I mean right it's the discarded Tupperware, recycled Tupperware lids that are no longer needed. It's the friendships and relationships that fall away because they can't be sustained in the higher energy. It's the uh, the new friendships and relationships that you pick up and the new goals and dreams that you pick up along the way and the new friendships that you forge along the way getting to the tops of these mountains, you know. Um, yeah, the saying nature, that saying of nature abhors a vacuum so whenever you let things go new things can kind of swoop in and, and take their place so for every completion it's a cycle right so every sense of completion is in itself a new beginning it's that saying of you know you've got to crack an egg to make an omelette so you're ending the the egg <laughs> oh that's funny and she's sitting on an egg you're ending the egg as a as an oval shape and cracking it to transform it so it's completing its job as a an egg shape <laughs> in order to transform into something greater and grander or you know your breakfast or whatever it is you know um, yeah so there's a celebration in the completion as well yeah and they show me the number nine so the nine is is the you know one two three four five six seven eight nine and then back to one essentially it's the it's the fool's journey it's the ending and the beginning at the same time the shaman is it ouroboros i never quite know how to say that properly it's that snake eating its own tail that's what this reminds me of actually as soon as i saw it i know it's not snake heads here at the top of that that sort of wreath archway um but it, it reminds me of that they're saying that this crystal here is a um a symbol of their support for us 
and and then asking us to notice this sort of archway this this pathway through the archway rather um, and that's a that's a symbol of our individual pathway towards light towards love towards grace towards compassion towards join join us <laughs> joy and happiness for all join us <laughs> i kind of like that um yeah and they're saying this the stars also represent serendipity you know so look out for the stars i like that i'm gonna keep half an eye out for stars as well um yeah completion and it's okay to grieve you know grief is part of the um completion process as well allowing things surrendering things letting things go um crying if you need to remembering to hug yourself like this lady oh excuse me excuse me i dropped the card and said excuse me <laughs> um like this lady in the fates card she's hugging herself and remember that when you i was reminded of this this morning when i woke up actually um remember that your body the cells of your body are really 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 objective so if you hug yourself with the same energy as you would a loved one your body doesn't actually know the difference between you being hugged by a loved one and you hugging yourself so if you are in grief or you are in sadness or you are really feeling the 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 yeah the grief of of completion of cycles completing then remember to self-soothe yourself in that way they say it's really they're saying it's really important just as we invited you last month to to remember to light yourself up from the inside it's also important to hug yourself from the outside <laughs> that's really sweet that's really sweet yeah and um, they're reminding me um of that that huge amount of love that they sent pouring through to us all part way through this video at some point i can't remember which point um but yeah that they was they're saying that's part of this support I'm just going to get that card um yeah they're saying that's part of their support particularly for this completion cycle that's nice because i didn't even know i was going to draw this card yeah nice okay um i think that's it i forgot to turn the timer back on um when i came back from getting the extension cord for the camera um so i actually don't know again <laughs> how long this video is but i think that's probably plenty um just asking if there's anything last they're like no congratulations you've leveled up my friends and that's right they were kind of reminding me they've just brought it in just quickly now um of how they've been speaking for for years now but particularly over the last couple of months and very definitely last month about you know you've got to change the dial because you're zooming down the freeway kind of thing um you change the dial on the radio to stay on the same station and they're reminding you that staying the course of the the ship as well you know you've got to stay the course um i don't know what they were going to say <laughs> uh it's like i went off track the connection dropped out <laughs> what were they saying oh yeah the leveling up mm, yeah congratulations for leveling up basically that you've 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 retuned your dials successfully um and we're all on the next mountaintop and we're all enjoying the the clarity of the the retuned radio station so to speak um so enjoy it enjoy it enjoy the the new dreams and enjoy the um, excitement and enjoy the um the bliss of being i want to say which sounds a little trite but it's like you know those that 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 practice of gratitude you know where you notice the clouds and the dawn light and the birds singing and the tasty cup of tea or the joy of having warm water that comes out of the tap when you need a shower and you know the bliss of being it's really sweet i really like it okay i'm gonna leave it there um thanks for playing along <laughs> um i hope these videos help um yeah i'm not doing a newsletter i'm gonna do i'm not gonna do a monthly newsletter anymore i'm gonna use the time to to work on my backlog of writerly to-do lists um 
that was bad grammar but you know what I mean um, but I will you know occasionally um, drop you a line in that way um, but mostly I think the information is going to come through these videos um, so feel free to subscribe um, like the video if you liked it share it with people that you think might benefit from these messages um, you can hit the little dingy bell thing to get notification of when I drop a new video uh, merch is on sale audio meditations on sale stuff and things are happening <laughs> um, all right enjoy your bliss of being have a great month um, spring is about to spring here in the southern hemisphere which is always a bit exciting um, and yeah send you much love and I will talk to you again next month take care bye